Okay, this is a presentation all about scalars and vectors and how to add up uh, vectors graphically. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about is this diagram here and what it represents. If you try this experiment out, you take a uh, mass, hang it from a string as shown here, and try and pull the string so you get a straight line, you'll find that it's virtually impossible to raise the weight um, any great distance without snapping the, the rope or the string you're using. Um, and this is because of because of the way the forces add up, uh, and you'll be learning about that in this presentation. Okay, so this is the learning objectives. If you want to take a moment just to have a look at this, right? First of all, scalars are quantities which are fully described by just their magnitude or their numerical value alone. Examples include volume, mass, and speed. Vectors are quantities which are fully described by both a magnitude and a direction. Force. You'll have seen lots of force diagrams with arrows on objects and two or three arrows sometimes and you're asked to, to tell you, sorry, asked to say which direction you think the object's going to move in and how it's going to behave, whether it's going to accelerate or it's going to remain at a constant velocity and so on. Okay, we have two more vectors here, constant velocity, sorry, uh, velocity and displacement and uh, acceleration is also a vector and there are many more uh, if you want to pause the video now and try and decide which terms go under which side or which uh, side of this table um, give yourself a little test um, okay so hopefully you've paused the video and had a look at this um, I'll go through the answers now okay scalar side speed momentum is a vector distance is a, is a uh, is a scalar, whereas displacement is a vector. I haven't put displacement on here, but displacement is a vector. Distance, displacement, there is a, dif a difference between the two. Uh, distance is just a distance in any direction. It could be my walk to a school is 50 meters, but that's down the stairs, along round the roundabout, and so on. Whereas displacement tells you the direction as well. Okay, torque, force, and so on. Okay, so hopefully you did quite well on that. Uh, if not, maybe it's have a, another read through your books. Okay, so let's simulate this rope pull experiment to see what it looks like when we analyze it with vectors. So each person was pulling out in a different direction. If I represent that with a vector, so the girl was pulling this way I think, and the boy was pulling this way, I now have their two vectors. And luckily because uh, this piece of software allows me to sum them. Okay, stick that there. So now this is saying that this red line and this red line in opposite directions uh, representing the force with which the two people were pulling would be equal to this green line. Now, I've got this slightly skewed off to the side. There we go, it's vertical now. So now, that is the force that was supporting the weight. This force is going to be equal to the weight. And these two people pulling in these opposite directions, you can see that the magnitude of the force, the length of this line, is much greater than the green line. And if we try and pull harder and harder and harder, essentially these lines are all always going to be much bigger than the green line and this is why it's very very difficult to raise that mass unless it's a very very light mass uh, you have to use an enormous amount of force to cr try and close this close the angle here down okay let's have a look at another property of this that's quite interesting if I take this red arrow and I haven't changed the angle that it's uh, or its direction um, to the horizontal its angle to the horizontal I've just moved it across to here and added it tail to tail with the other red uh, arrow you find that that distance between here is equal to the vector sum this is very useful because it means we can add up vectors of different quantities uh, I'm changing the quantities now Let's try, try and grab the other arrow by adding them tail to tail you find the vector sum this is how you're going to be adding up um, vectors for uh, your questions in GCSE physics, well, IGCSE physics. Okay, let's go back to the PowerPoint. So, the triangle law for adding vectors. 
this is how I do it on PowerPoint. I'll show you how to do it on paper in a second. Uh, you basically give, say you're given two vectors. Um, you need to take one of those vectors, uh, move it, so you have the vectors tail to tail. Then you draw an arrow uh, from uh, that completes the kind of the gap, uh, and that will be that will give you the magnitude. If you've drawn it to scale, that will give you the magnitude and the direction of your final vector. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's go through this example question. By the use of a scale diagram, not calculation, of the forces acting on P, so P is this box here, find the weight of the box, and the weight, because it's a force, is measured in newtons. Okay, so you're already told some values here that this piece of string experiences a tension of 950 newtons, and this one uh, is experiencing a force of 1,220 newtons. First thing I need to do is come up with a scale um, for the diagram I'm going to do and uh, you'd have to look at your piece of paper and decide whether you, what kind of scale to go for uh, to fit it onto your piece of paper. So if I use uh, 200 newtons per uh, centimeter I think I'll be able to fit this onto my uh, piece of paper. Right, next thing I'm going to do is just draw up some grid lines with the right angle. Um, I do these very faintly on my piece of paper uh, so that I, I'm working in a kind of neat way. Right, then I'll take this uh, vector and draw it in. And remember, and notice please that I've kept uh, the angle and its magnitude uh, correct. So the magnitude I've worked out from my scale. So 1,220 newtons divided by 200 will give me a, a number, uh, and that's the magnitude in centimeters on this scale diagram. The next thing I'll do is take the second vector, and of course I'm going to have to keep the angle again to the vertical at 40 degrees to the vertical. So I'd have another uh, uh, construction line in here and uh, measure the angle to be 40 degrees and again divide 950 by 200 newtons to give me in centimeters the magnitude of this arrow. Finally I can draw in uh, my uh, sum of the vectors and now this uh, sum of the vectors uh, if I was to measure the angle from either the vertical or the horizontal uh, and also measure its length I'd have um, I'd have my complete answer. So let's measure the length. If I, if I do use a piece of paper to work this out, I find the length of this uh, uh, the length of this green vector was 8.9 centimeters. Multiply that by the force uh, that one centimeter represents, and I'll get the weight. So my answer is 1,780 newtons. Hopefully you can do this uh, by yourself now. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please uh, add comments on the YouTube comments. Thank you very much for watching.